Whenever you're working in Illustrator and creating new objects, by default, in general, those new objects will be created on top of any old or previous objects that you've had. So if I was to make a copy of this square by holding down the Option key and dragging, you can see the new one is created on top of the old one that I have. So let's create a couple of others so you can see exactly what's going on. Now one thing to keep in mind is I'm working in one layer. Layers will come in a little bit later. For now, let me show you how you can change the stacking order of all of your objects. Let's say I wanted this square object not to be in the very back, but to be on top of the green and the blue one. To do this, select the object you want to affect, go to the Object drop-down menu, and choose Arrange. The arrangement allows you to bring forward or send back objects based on their stacking order. It's very important to also learn these keyboard shortcuts. The command and bracket keys are the things to remember. Either shift command open or shift command or command close bracket keys uh, will allow you to do different things. Bring to front allows the object to be placed at the very front of all other objects. So now it's on top of not only the green but also the blue. And send to back sends everything to the very back of all objects. If I wanted to move it up just once, I can do Arrange and then Bring Forward, and that brings it up just one, but not on top of the other ones. If you've got many different objects, sometimes uh, the documents you create may have a hundred objects on them, sometimes it's better to know exactly where it's at, and you may have to hit these um, arrangements several different times to be able to move them back and forth. Knowing the keyboard shortcuts of Command close bracket will bring it forward and open bracket will bring it back and doing shift open and close will send it all the way to the front or send it all the way to the back as well.